Hi, it's Artie Kavanaugh coming to you from ACR Convergence 2022 in Philadelphia for Room Now. A lot of good abstracts, including abstracts about psoriatic arthritis. One that I'm going to talk about right now, abstract 1598. Safety and efficacy of Ducravacitinib, an oral selective tyrosine kinase 2 or TIC2 inhibitor in patients with psoriatic arthritis. Phase two, the results from a phase 2 study at 52 weeks. Interesting abstract, I think because of some of the measures and also with some of the design issues. So in this study, two different doses of Ducravacitinib were compared with placebo and did much better in all the different domains of psoriatic arthritis. For the patients who had not reached minimal disease activity, they then were treated with ustekinumab, as were the patients who received placebo. As I said, of course, in the original part that was reported, the blinded part, uh, people did better. 25% of the Ducravacitinib patients achieved minimal disease activity, or MDA, which is one of our goals in psoriatic arthritis. All the patients then were switched to treatment with ustekinumab, an approved inhibitor of IL-1223 that we use in psoriatic arthritis and our colleagues in dermatology use in psoriasis. The people who stayed on Ducravacitinib sustained their response through the rest of the year, through week 52. Good levels of response, a little bit of an increase, and a low level of the PASTAS, which was also included as an outcome in this study. Patients who were switched to the use to Kinemab did show improvement, although the levels of improvement were not as high as those who had achieved MDA in the initial part of the study. So I think there are several aspects of this that are worth noting. It's great to have newer therapies for psoriatic arthritis. A lot of interest in TIC2 inhibition as questions come about whether it may be different and how it would be different from the other JAK inhibs. And I think unique aspects of a study design, we like a switching to an alternative mechanism. And of course, the use of another instrument, the PASDES. So a lot of good information here and things that I think will be useful to us in the clinic. So with that, thank you very much. This is Dr. Artie Kavanaugh coming to you from ACR 22 for Room Now.